Hello, my name is Chris, and today we'll talk about how you can use a column chart to make your point. Imagine that you are a cashier at Creative Candles, a small fictional candlestick maker that offers tall and slender candles frequently used on dining room tables. Recently, you noticed that some days the store has more customers than others. Sometimes the number of customers is so great, there are long lineups at the till. So you decide to create a column chart of the number of customers visiting the store in a week in hopes that the manager might consider hiring a new part-time worker to help out on the busier days. The first thing to do is to write the title at the top of the chart, Number of Creative Candle Customers Per Week. The source of the data is Creative Candles, which is written on the bottom right of the chart. The days of the week are on the x-axis of the chart, and the number of customers is on the y-axis. Now you're ready to share the customer visit information with the manager of Creative Candles. First, start off with an executive summary explaining the problem at hand. For example, Creative Candles' truly unique way of creating an aesthetically pleasing light and scent for a room has created days where customers have to wait a considerable amount of time to make a purchase. Next, you describe the data highlighting the key numbers. Typically, Creative Candles has 200 customer visits a day, with the exception of Thursday, where the number jumps up to 350. Then you close with a recommendation of what action should be taken based upon the data. Considering that many customers who own restaurants usually visit our store on Thursdays to pick up supplies for the weekend. It might be advisable to hire a part-time cashier to reduce customer wait times. In summary, a column chart is a great way to quickly identify trends in a data set. Remember to highlight any particular high and low points in the chart, as well as any patterns or anomalies if they exist. In the case of Creative Candles, hiring an extra cashier on Thursdays would reassure customers that they can make their purchases swiftly without any weight. Also, it's important to use a unit of measurement on the y-axis that allows the reader to quickly identify any differences in a data set. Well, I think I'll head down to Creative Candles to hand in my resume for that part-time cashier position. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.